I play a lot on the internet, uh, on chess.com. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just for fun though. I think uh, building up repertoire is more than anything just a matter of curiosity. So I think uh, just one of the things that's helped me is I, I like to often go to the library uh, and just look at scores maybe without searching for anything in particular, but just flipping through the scores and seeing if I come across anything interesting. A sonata by this person that I've never heard of, or a concerto or a suite or something that I've never heard of before. Uh, I also like to do that in music, sheet music stores, just flipping through the catalog of things that they have. And also I'm going to concerts and listening to other people on recordings, just being generally curious about what the repertoire that exists uh, for your instrument. I think that's a big step toward building a bigger repertoire, you know, learning it and performing it eventually. The first thing that I like to do is I, I like to uh, just take a look at the score, sort of see what what the piece is like. In the case of the Barrio, it's uh, six pages long, and uh, when you look at it, it's actually quite intimidating. Luckily, we have several recordings which are very good, and uh, my favorite recording is um, the one made by Rohan de Saram, for whom the piece was written. And I'll try to take the ideas from those recordings and bring those ideas into my own interpretation. I think actually a lot of it has to do with how you practice because if you're really practicing in preparation for a performance, what I like to do is, is I like to imagine that I'm on stage while I'm practicing. So I have that feeling that there's an audience there and I have to be as grounded and re as relaxed as possible in the chair. As far as before stage, right before I go on stage, I like to take deep breaths, um, maybe move around a little bit. There's some physical exercises that I like to do, just moving my legs to get the blood flowing in my body, and also just to feel really excited and joyous about the performance that I'm about to give. I like to play online chess, particularly blitz chess, which is a very little time for both sides, usually around three minutes per person. And I think that actually going to movies, reading books, stuff like that, meeting people, uh, it's all helps you reflect more honestly on who you are. And I think that as you have more and more experiences with different types of people and uh, pieces of, of uh, artistic stimulation, you're able to more deeply go inside yourself and then figure out what you want to express yourself through your, through your music. <laughs>